I became an engineer in a roundabout way. Um, I was offered an Air Force scholarship because I was um, blessed to do well in school. And so I, the Air Force paid for my entire uh, college experience. And while I was in college, one of the things that came naturally to me was math. As I had uh, mentioned earlier, I had a wonderful math teacher. Her influence was so great, I decided to pursue a math career, which uh, the Air Force uh, identified as one of the technical degrees that they would uh, pay for. And once I got in the Air Force, I had an opportunity to select a career path. And the space program, uh, when I was a little girl, I watched the the first missions to the moon and I was inspired by the space program so that when I got in the, uh, had an opportunity to select a career path in the Air Force I chose the space program and then everything just happened naturally uh, the space program is an engineering discipline or the space operations doing mission operations in the space program is an engineering dis discipline and if there's an engineering uh, degree path that's close to what we do it would be systems engineering or industrial engineering uh, in that you have to coordinate a lot of things with a lot of different disciplines and do it in a logical manner in order to build a, a, a great plan. So this uh, just naturally led to uh, me having an opportunity to come to the Johnson Space Center at a time the uh, Air Force was thinking about getting into the manned space program and it just fit right into the ing aerospace engineering industry here at the NASA Johnson Space Center and then I was blessed to uh, be hired by uh, n the NASA program themselves after I got out of the Air Force.